Hi, this is Charlie Matutuyel with Blue Bear Flutes. Of course, as always, you know us from bluebearflutes.com. Our website, our Instagram is Blue Bear Flutes, Facebook, Blue Bear Flutes, I think uh, Twitter and everything else. If you haven't found it yet, I'm, I've always been saying this and I've been pretending like I don't know, hoping that maybe someone would say, hey, I know your Instagram feed or hey, I know you this or whatever. Nobody's done it yet, so. <sighs> anyway, today's video is about how to use our wireless microphone that we offer. We've offered a couple of different wireless microphones over the year. This is certainly by far the best one we have had to date uh, for a number of reasons, which I'll kind of briefly go over here. But I'm gonna show you a few things about it, something that I've done, and of course, what you need to do if you own one. Uh, very easy to use, easy to use product. Uh, there's basically two pieces. There is a sending unit, which has the microphone on it, and the receiving unit. The receiving unit plugs into whatever type of amplifier into your computer. It may even work with some cell phones. It could work with a number of things. Um, anything that can receive a eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter, I believe, uh, auxiliary input or microphone input should be able to use this wireless microphone. Having said that, this unit is the easiest thing to use. It really is. Um, you know, this one is 2.4 gigahertz. That is just a crazy amount of range and signal strength that this little unit has. I remember when I was growing up uh, using uh, the new cordless phones that came out, and all of you youngsters out there are thinking, what's a cordless phone? It predated cell phones. It's when you, were, uh, you had a phone that you could carry around with you, but it could only go so far from your house. Anyway, the cordless phones were two gigahertz, and we thought that was just the greatest thing because prior to that, uh, cordless phones worked on radio frequencies and a few other things that just weren't the digital frequency range. And this sucker here has got some range anyway. So uh, it has the receiving unit, the sending unit. You just plug this into whatever it is that you're wanting to um, use your microphone through and it'll come out that in very handy. There's a plus and a minus here, which as you have guessed it, is volume control. You can turn up the volume or turn down the volume. With our amplification systems, I typically recommend turning the volume down a couple of clicks uh, and then turning it up on the amplifier. Uh, in that particular essence, the volume control here is similar to something that people in the music industry used to call gain. Gain was how loud you could turn it up preamp to whatever it is that you're working with. Anyway, so uh, volume control right here, very handy. There is a switch over here to turn it on and off, and a little charging port for a USB charger. You can probably kind of get an idea of what that is there. Um, however, the on and off switch sometimes may be in the on position. You don't realize it, just double check. When you turn it on, a little light lights up. See, it's blue right there. Um, this one also has a little light that lights up blue when you turn it on. Once you turn them both on, they have paired. And the reason that that's a thing is because you may be able to, depending on the version uh, microphone you have, you may be able to use more than one of these at a time because they pair on a random frequency. And then um, if you turned another unit on, the mic and then the uh, receiving unit, then they will pair. And it's possible, I don't know what amount of paired items you can have nearby is eventually one of them is going to be on the same frequency this one is. Um, however, it is a, a great feature that you can actually pair more than one of these devices at a time, use more than one wireless microphone. Any of uh, you who are in theater, this isn't the solution to your kids play by the way. <laughs> you can't use 20 of these on stage at once because there are going to be five people on the same frequency. And maybe that'll be convenient in some ways. Once again, you can flip it on and off very simply enough. To charge this unit, the wireless microphone system comes with a dual USB charging wire. So you have uh, one plug here that you can plug in, and you've got to look to see which way it plugs in, like I just did, because you may be forcing it in the wrong way if you're not careful. These things are shaped kind of like a, I don't know how to describe them, like a flat donut that's laying on the ground that's been squashed. Uh, that's not a good description. But anyway, there's a flatter side and a rounder side. You want to put the rounder side to the rounder side and the flatter to the flatter. Those two pieces now can charge at the same time. They take about 20 or 30 minutes to charge as I have experienced. And then you plug this into any given uh, cell phone, you know, charger, USB. You can get 
these just about anywhere today from a local convenience store to a drugstore. Do you need to buy a separate one if you already have one from your cell phones? No, you can actually do like I do and just save them from your previous cell phones and use those. When you plug this into the wall or if you're using a car charger, which this works with by the way very well, uh, if you're charging it, uh, however it is that you're charging it, or even in, I hate to tell you guys this, but you can charge, it, charge this in a battery pack. Um, I have a portable battery pack that I carry around with my cell phone all the time, and I can charge these guys by plugging this into my portable battery pack. Very handy when you're out on the go. So you want to charge it until both lights turn off. When they're both turned off, it's done. Once again, that's about 30, 45 minutes, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe an hour, depending on how much you've used them. And then they're fully charged. These are great for playing with the Native American flute. However, I've used them with just about everything from the ukulele to a standard silver flute to talking in, using them for dictation, uh, singing. I mean, really, you name it, they've been very handy for that. Having said this, uh, the unit that we carry today includes a little headset piece that has a detachable snap that goes in place here. And you just push it back until it snaps, and then you can use it like this uh, for a number of purposes. I don't know if you're going to be singing on stage with this, uh, though it is a very good quality microphone in my opinion. One of my buddies swears by it and says that it's better than his digital uh, studio mics he has. You can snap this on and off anytime, once again, if that's a convenience for you. And I have, very sloppily I might add, <laughs> hot glued a piece of Velcro to the back of this guy. And I know I've mentioned this in other videos, this is the easiest way to attach anything to your Native American flute as a microphone goes. Um, so I have a piece of double-sided Velcro, which is basically um, just sticky on, you know, the pokey side on one side and the soft side on the other. And I usually wrap this around so that the soft side is down on my flute and it attaches very nicely. It's usually not going to damage the finish or anything. And then I have the soft side out and the pokey side is actually what I have hot glued to this microphone and it just sticks right on. Now for the sake of this small flute, you'll need to change its little microphone boom there so that it is somewhere near the sound hole of your flute so that you think of the sound projections coming out of this guy going into the microphone. If you put it too close, you may pick up some of the residual wind sound coming off of the flute. And if it's too far away, you may have to turn your gain up or your volume up so far that, you know, if uh, you hear that sounding good at that point with the flute, you may hear yourself breathing in there as well. So I just keep it at kind of a good distance, say inch or two inches away from the sound hole, usually an inch away. And of course, it will work if you put it near the bottom of the flute as well. However, the best sound quality that you're gonna get is from miking this area up here. And that's really about it. Very easy to use this little guy. Once you've done that, you have the flute where you can play it and you have volume control where you can control the volume up and down. And it's that simple. Really, this is probably the easiest microphone I've ever used in my entire life. Uh, easier than anything I've used on stage, anything that I've used on television or anywhere, really, has been, been the best. So, uh, and once again, this Velcro is very easy to get a hold of at just about anywhere. Sometimes you'll find it in the uh, electronics department or maybe in the hardware department of a retail store here in the United States, Walmart, Costco, Walgreens, um, Target, Best Buy, um, you know, really any any number of retail stores, Ace Hardware, uh, Lowe's and Home Depot, and any others that I failed to mention. I'm not singling anybody out. You guys are all great for what you're selling there. Uh, so it's a great unit, and once again, you just charge it until the lights go off. When you get ready to use them, turn one unit on. It can be either one. And then after you've turned it on, you'll notice a little light sits there and blinks until you turn this one on, and then now they've stopped blinking and they're paired and it's that easy. So anyway, I hope that this has helped you guys in your understanding of how to use our wireless microphone. It is very uh, simple, like I said, for anybody to use. I know some people like to have full details on how to do things, so that's why I wanted to offer this to you today. Once again, uh, I hope that you all are having a great time playing your Native American flutes and making them for those of you who are brave enough 
Uh, this is Charlie Montatuyella signing out for Blue Bear Flutes and bluebearflutes.com. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care.